Only on KCTV 5, we're breaking new information tonight about a former Odessa high school teacher and football coach. He's accused of sexual misconduct with students. Joe Chiodo has been following Miles Hotchard through the court system for a year now, and he joins us with more on these new charges. Brad, these new charges were filed just a week and a half ago. They include attempted possession of child porn, attempting to furnish a minor, and sexual misconduct. I have the probable cause statement right here with me. A warning to our viewers, it is graphic. In one part, Miles Hodgard is accused of sending one of his former female students nude photos and trying to get her to do the same. But this is not Hotchard's first time on our news or in legal trouble. Miles Hotchard's now been involved in two legal battles in two school districts over the past two years. The most recent involving two girls at Odessa High School, one 16 years old and the other 17. The Odessa High School principal contacted police in September after the girls came forward. In this probable cause statement, the 16 year old girl tells police she sent Hotchard, her former teacher, a picture on Snapchat showing her making a peace sign and sticking her tongue out. She says Hotchard then replied, saying, you don't know how to use that thing, and went on to ask what her mouth did. The student says Hotchard then sent her a graphic X-rated picture of his body part and asked her for a picture in return. She says she refused. This past November, police confronted Hotchard about the nude picture and graphic text messages. According to the report, Hotchard told police he deleted the girls from social media because, quote, the conversations were going places that I did not want them to. The officer says it appeared Hotchard was nervous and trying to conceal the truth. Hotchard told the officer if he did send a graphic picture of his body part, it was, quote, an accident. The report says eventually, though, Hotchard suggested he did in fact send that picture, saying, quote, mm-hmm, in an affirmative manner when asked about it again. And when asked if he asked the 16-year-old for a picture in return, Hotchard said, quote, maybe, maybe, I might have. The second girl accusing Hotchard, who is 17, also spoke with police. This student says she messaged Hotchard first. Then he started to say, quote, weird things. According to the report, those things included messages about oral sex, asking if she was a virgin, and saying if they did anything, he would, quote, crush her. The student says Miles also attempted to come over to her house during quarantine. The timing of this exchange dates back to February 2020, just days after Hotchard lost his job at Odessa High School and last appeared on our news. Do you want to share any part of your story or have anything to say? That's right. Right before these messages with the girls, Hotchard was charged with assault and went before a judge in municipal court. It was for a 2019 incident at Liberty North High School, where he used to teach and coach. A student there says Hotchard pushed and shoved him to the ground in a training room. He like put his hand like right here and pushed me off this chair. How hard? I'm not a small person, but, you know, I'm six foot 250, there's not what you can do unless you put some force into it. The family then filed that assault charge. I was very upset. You know, I was like, how can a coach do this? Following that, in July 2019, Hotchard resigned. By August, he took the job in Odessa. Do you think he should be coaching anymore? No, I do not. Odessa never would tell KCTV 5 News whether or not they were aware of this incident when they offered him the job. But once Hotcher did reach a plea deal in the assault case this past January, Odessa let him go. Joe Chiodo, KCTV 5 News. We reached out to the attorney re representing Hotchard in this new case, and he provided this statement saying Mr. Hotchard has pled not guilty to the charges. We will not make any additional statements about the case in court.